guys, so do you know the Lord is always ready to fight our battles? Hmm. Every battle that is given unto him, he presents us with the victory. Yes, because he is victorious. He is the victorious Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am about to continue reading online Joshua chapter 5. Open your Bibles and join me. Come on. Let's see. The children of Israel, they are just came over the Jordan River and they are ready to go into the promised land. But will it be easy or will they have to fight for it? Come on, join me as I read the word of God. Let's see, there's a lot of food in this chapter for us, for our spirits. So come on, come on, let's feast on the word of God. Joshua chapter 5, I'm reading the King James Version and it says, And it came to pass when all the kings of the Amorites which were on the side of Jordan westward, and all the kings of the Canaanites, which were by the sea, heard that the Lord had dried up the waters of Jordan from before the children of Israel until we were passed over, that their hearts melted. <laughs> Neither was there spirit in them anymore because of the children of Israel. At that time, the Lord said unto Joshua, Make these sharp knives and circumcise again the children of Israel the second time. And Joshua made him sharp knives and circumcised the children of Israel at the hill of the foreskins. And this is the cause why Joshua did circumcise all the people that came out of Egypt, that were males, even all the men of war, died in the wilderness, by the way, after they came out of Egypt. Now all the people that came out were circumcised. But all the people that were born in the wilderness, by the way, as they came out of Egypt, them they had not circumcised, for the children of Israel walked 40 years in the wilderness till all the people that were men of war, which came out of Egypt, were consumed because they obeyed not the voice of the Lord, unto whom the Lord swore that he would not show them the land which the Lord swear unto their fathers that he would give us a land that floweth with milk <laughs> and honey. And their children, whom he raised up in their stead, them Joshua circumcised, for they were uncircumcised because they had not circumcised them by the way. And it came to pass, when they had done circumcising all the people, that they abode in their places in the camp, till they were whole. And the Lord said unto Joshua, This day have I rolled away the reproach of Egypt from off you. Mm. Wherefore, the name of the place is called Gilgal unto this day. And the children of Israel encamped in Gilgal and kept the Passover on the 14th day of the month at even in the plains of Jericho. And they did eat of the old corn of the land on the morrow after the Passover. Unleavened cakes and parched corn in the selfsame day. And the manner ceased on the morrow after they had eaten of the corn of the land. Mm. Neither had the children of Israel manna any more, because they did eat of the fruit of the land of Canaan that year. And it came to pass when Joshua was by Jericho 
that he lifted up his eyes and looked. And behold, there stood a man over against him with his sword drawn in his hand. And Joshua went unto him and said unto him, Are thou for us or for our adversaries? And he said, Nah, but as the captain of the host of the Lord, am I come, am I now come, excuse me. And Joshua fell on his face to the earth and did worship and said unto him, What sayest my Lord unto his servant? <laughs> And the captain of the Lord's host said unto Joshua, Loose thy shoe from off thy foot, for the place whereon thou standest is holy. And Joshua did so. <laughs> Thus ends the reading of Joshua chapter 5. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? No, the presence of the Lord is ready. It's right there. He is going to lead them into battle. <laughs> no, they are circumcised. They are ready. They are ready. The Lord is put in his appearance. The Lord of hosts, the captain of the Lord of hosts. He is ready. Ah. Let's move on. Joshua chapter 4. Five, five, six is coming up next. <laughs>